depopulation is a necessity. They are not mistaken. There are just too many worthless trash people that need to deserve to just be flushed right down, right down the drain. Here, you want to learn that from Gary the Numbers Jew? Go pay him thousands of dollars and sign an NDA so you can't talk about how dog shit the results of his work are. But Itachi, like seriously, the songs you play on your live streams, why are you playing that music? Like just that stuff alone makes me think you're a shill. And stop ripping on people for going to the sports games when you go to them too. But you're going to be mad suspect to me as long as you continue to be the walking hypocrite that you are. Literally every police officer deserves the same fate. And I, I, I mean that with all the offense you can take out of it. Again, you all deserve to perish. Welcome back, true seeker. Here, here, just to out myself, I mean, I'm not going to say that I never jerked off before. I can remember when I was a young man, here can be a consequence of jerking off. And I don't know if this is a good story. This girl was a Gemini, and her and I had been dating, and it seemed like we both really liked each other. We, her and I went out on a date that night, and we had a great time, and I thought for sure it was going to happen that night. But at the end of the night, she was like at the door, she's like, I had a really good time, had a nice good night kiss. And then I had to go home. And so anyway, I go home, I'm a single guy, and I got, you know, feelings. I had to get it out, right? So... As soon as I got it out, guess what's happened to the phone? She's blowing me up. She needs me to come over. She wants, she's got the booty call. I'm like, but I, I had just spent myself. I went over there anyway. I could not perform right. Poor guy couldn't get up for it. You know what I mean? I could not perform right because I had just done this thing that I probably should not have done. And then it was embarrassing. And he's got a little limp willy. Yeah, and I embarrassed myself that night too. It was embarrassing. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I feel like I, I need one of those blue pills. Little limp dick loser. And, and you know what? It's probably part of my fault too because I was so embarrassed about my poor performance or my in-performance that I couldn't even like get up for the situation. I just, I just felt like uh, it wasn't me and I was just like, well, maybe he's actually gay. I'm anticipating that in February we'll be down in LA for the Kobe Bryant unveiling and then from there, zip over to the Super Bowl in Vegas three days later. I, I'm just telling you, the climate here in this household right now, it is going to be extremely difficult for, for, for me to travel right now. Again, what I'm trying to say, and this isn't like a grift. It sure sounds like it. For those of you, though, who do value when I get out and speak and go to events, I'm going to have to see some kind of surge in support between now and February. And he needs money. <laughs> he always needs money. Because I, I just, I don't see that her attitude is going to change. And I could just say, F you, sweet lady. I'm going anyway because it's what the world needs. But uh, when you are in a relationship, it's important that you keep um, things agreeable. Pussy. Again, there, there should be a million people in America. That's about one in 400 that see what's going on who can find a dollar a month. Imagine a million dollars a month. Imagine all that money had come to me. Me. To employ buildings, people. I'll tell you what though, if this per month thing gets up to something like $10,000 a month, I'll hire a couple people. You know, then I can afford to have some employees. I'll, I'll hire Jonathan, you know? Right now there's 10,787 coming in a month. That's more than I need for myself. That's why I'm paying $1,000 a month for a website. That's why I'm saving the rest of the money for a future cause, like getting a building and renovating it and being able to have the resources to put in the furniture that we can have to set up a, you know, Gematria Effect news studio. This money is for the cause. If this money goes up to 30,000, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna happen overnight. We're gonna have the building. We're gonna have people hired. It's gonna make a huge difference. We can do a lot with 30,000 a month. But I am saying we hit 30,000, things will happen. Things will happen and they'll happen fast. And you'll see it. I'm transparent. Straight Jew. And there's nothing anti-Semitic about that either. Because that's just a fucking fact. That's why they call it getting Jewed. So for the people out there who have never pledged a dollar a month. Again, for everybody who hasn't donated anything this month. Make a donation. Sweet sweet lady's been keeping track of the, the support. I bet she does. She knows where the support was when we first started traveling to where it's gone down to. And as long as that's the case, I'm going to be losing the same argument to her over and over. Dollar a month. One dollar a month. Can you budget that? Is that unreasonable? 
So I just need 30,000 of you to pledge $1 a month. That's three cents a day. It'll change your life. You guys can help me get the Patreon up to more people pledging a dollar a month by February. Again with the money? Could make my life a lot easier because if, if I'm having to make the, uh, you know, if I'm having to come on here and say like, I, I can't get Sweet Lady on board, you guys, I got to cancel the trip. And I've had to do that before for other trips. I don't have the resources. There's not, there's just not enough resources coming in. We're just not getting the resources that we need. Uh, there's not enough funding. I can't go anywhere. They, my handler won't let me leave the house. I can't pound pavement anymore because I need to make $30,000 a month to leave the house. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the support is down. The resources are down. Support, we need more support. Yeah, again, I, I never thought that the support once it built would ever go back down and it went way back. It went way down after we went out and to Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, Buffalo, New York, doing all that made the support go way down. And it, to me, it's like, how? And again, his whole goal is to get people to not support me. How does it go way down? We go out and do like the most awesome things we've done to date. He is winning a lot of support from people who used to be great members of this community. Which... <laughs> Look at the trolls are always here. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he definitely doesn't. He doesn't own anything. He's just a pathetic little guy who won't come on and debate. And I can't imagine just how pathetic of a person you'd have to be to watch his channel or even mention his name. Just reminds me there's a lot of worthless losers. And again, that, that reminds me about the one thing the Illuminati's right about. Depopulation is a necessity. Wouldn't wish death on anybody, but they are not mistaken. There are just too many worthless trash people that need to deserve to just be flushed right down, right down the drain. They just do not need to be here. Almost everybody else, I, like I, I, I wish I could, I, I wish I could drop the, drop the bomb on them to be perfectly honest. So, and I guarantee the person who just left that comment, you're one of them. Yeah. Meanwhile, in reality, we're helping people turn five dollar bills into six hundred. <laughs> you know. That inbred loser over there, he's misrepresenting the truth of the work. Sure, Jan. Can you imagine making a YouTube channel called Zach's Sweet Lady Boy? <laughs> Again, you guys, if you like the Illuminati so much, which I'm exposing, why not endorse the Illuminati plan that wants to depopulate and recognize that you're a worthless loser and help support their plan by getting rid of yourself. And I'm, I'm not wrong to say people should go jump in a bathtub and get out the fucking razor blades. Fucking die, you fucking shit. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? You guys are obviously down with the Illuminati agenda. The Illuminati agenda is depopulation. So why not become part of the agenda by getting rid of yourself? And I know that my whole life, I've been a good Samaritan. I've always looked out for other people before I looked out for myself. A lot of people know that about me. You and I both know that you're worthless. I don't like to be mean to people either. It's like this year, I'm not having the greatest NFL season, but week 12 was good. Week 11 was very good. Week 9 was very good. We'd had two decent weeks earlier in the year, and then we'd had some really bad and mediocre weeks, which hurt. And they were this close to being good weeks as well, but there's just been games that have been killing this year. But yeah, again, the knowledge is real. The critics, the critics are pathetic people. It's like the, the troll who makes videos about me all the time and people who don't know better, they'll watch his video and they'll think, oh, maybe this guy's lying. Maybe this is all bullshit. If the shoe fits. It's like, no, you're watching a bullshit con artist who chops up videos like a politician and puts out very misleading information. When in reality, if you have a brain, it's easy to consistently win. When losers are making videos about me, just understand that's all it is. It's losers making videos about me. Again, I'll stand by these remarks and you'll never hear these trolls debate it. Yours truly, as arrogant as this might sound, unleashed the dopest information in the history of the world about how sports are rigged. Okay. Ego. Okay? And we backed that up in a major way. Sure you did. You losers come here and leave your comments, but I'll never call in a debate and say, oh, well, you, we attacked you because you're bullshit. Because it's like, dude, shut up. Again, some people cannot handle criticism. That, that's why any any troll of this work, you guys are fucking losers. Oh, the language on you. You blow your father with that mouth? And, and put another video, Zach the Fraud, another shit day of pics. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Like, yeah, okay. 
if you take it from a troll whose face you don't know, whose name you don't know, actually, he did accidentally put his face down there. And, and it was sad. To, you guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. Will, can you, Will, can you turn your camera off? Again, no, I'd rather not look at your ugly face. fucking mug. God <laughs> damn, talk about no face. pussy. That's why you <laughs> fuck guys, because no women want to be there. Oh no you guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. No numbers needed. I'll make another prediction. In five more minutes, you'll still be an ugly faggot. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. To sell me out for some fat, ugly bitch, man, you must be on hard times in the pussy category. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. And, and he's, he's one of the comment that I'm poised. It's like, dude, fuck you, fat, bald loser. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. I already said I don't remember their name, you fucking fat piece of shit. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. Bro, take a look at your fucking okay. face, dude. So for you, your, your face you speaks for your existence. Take I've been a look at your face, man. For a long you look like oh. a fucking mess. I've been around. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. GG, thanks for the video upload, you know? Adios, have a nice life as well. Two fat slobs that can go hang out together. You guys, I don't want to make fun of people because of the way they appear. Obviously, I'm 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 full of shit right now. But, but there are reasons that there's been eugenics people in the past that thought it'd be better to get rid of the ugly people from society because ugly ugly people will live a life of jealousy and probably not being wanted and not used for sexual reproduction. I mean, there's people who've thought like this. Those people are justified in their thoughts when we talk about guys like the guy I'm talking about right now. We saw his face and it's like it looked like he had a stroke at a young age. His face is like out of proportion and drooping as he's just you know he's just talking shit and you feel bad for him but it's like okay this is also part of what's going on i mean probably a guy that's been and and sadly he's probably you know the guy that got bullied and picked on and and for whatever reason he decided to well I, i'm pretty sure he's paid by gary the numbers jew fairy tales who uh again if you guys don't know who that is he's a fraud in the community who makes people sign an nda and who harasses me and who got his ass handed to him in 2016 calling into tfr every night and being wrong about his picks where i was right proving our points in spades waking people up helping people make money he's a liar he's a fraud hurting the casinos not as much as we used to but still hurting him i'm good at lying <laughs> And again, you just got morons talking nothing but bullshit each day who will never come on and debate because they know they'll get smoked. My number one troll had nothing when he actually had to debate, and that's why he'll never call in again and he'll keep making his bullshit videos because he's a fucking loser. Sorry about your droopy face. That's not my fault. Sorry about all the kids who probably made fun of you. Sorry about all the no pussy. I talk shit, but none of that's my fault, and it doesn't mean you should be some piece of shit shill for Gary the Numbers Jew who's not a good human being. Remember where we started, the 47th problem of Euclid? Here, you wanna learn that from Gary the Numbers Jew? Go pay him thousands of dollars and sign an NDA so you can't talk about how dog shit the results of his work are. You got fucking losers in the world. I, like, I hardly have anybody that makes a video supportive of the work. I got 5,000 fucking losers on every social media platform making bullshit ass videos. Yeah, well, something tells me you bring it on yourself. And I guess that's the way it is when you're, when you're doing something meaningful because the, the people have the resources to, to hide some loser with a drooping face. Who has this guy is the asshole of the fucking year. Has no life and, and this is the best he can do and the best salary he can make. To employ people like that to harass me each day, uh, again, you just listen to it. It's like mental illness. We get the Gematria Effect newspaper. I, I can only say so much, but I love that idea. And we're definitely getting closer to having something like that, some kind of magazine, some kind of place. But uh, we're going to have to get a lot more support behind the work. But this piece of shit right here, he has an agenda. His agenda is to get very, 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 very rich. And he's going to do whatever it takes to accomplish that. So but definitely getting closer to those types of things being a reality. So I'd share more information, but I have so many losers in the world that just try to sabotage everything I do instantly that I have to be I have to be a little bit secretive in terms of things that I'm starting to accomplish about. Uh, again, getting to, to something like what you're talking about right now. Those haters, just don't, don't ignore them. Don't give them your energy. Well, the thing is, they have a huge, they have a huge impact. Indeed, indeed. So it's like when I, when I, that's what you guys don't seem to get when I respond to this. The reason for the response is to hopefully meet the person who's being persuaded by these loser trolls. Because sadly, it's been a lot of people. It's just, and it's amazing to me. I'm like, wow. Like, there's a guy in Europe who, who I've been exchanging back and forth with. I now see he's over in the sports match guy. He's like, wow, I never knew this side of Zach. All I saw was like, is a brilliant. It's just like, oh my God. Now this guy's being taken by this. 
my God, man. It's, it shows me how pathetic a lot of people are. If, if For anyone who's ever fallen off this work because they were persuaded by a loser troll, I mean, it makes them a loser troll too. But I'm trying to help people not go that way. And, and sadly, people aren't very smart. That's why they're easily misguided. So these videos are about trying to get people to see the correct picture. And, you know, the psychopath will child is be like, Zach thinks the correct picture is when you agree with him. You said it for me. You really got no point besides your chopped up videos that are totally misleading. Oh, Zach sucks at sports. He went 0-2 in March Madness Day. It's like, yeah, that video's for chumps. If you're going to hate on me and come over to my channel and don't like what I'm doing, it's probably because you're a loser. Right. You guys want to see me, you know, out in L.A. for the Kobe Bryant statue for the Super Bowl? You could really help me out by pledging a dollar a month. You worthless d losers can't chip in a dollar. If I can show sweet lady that we got back up to somehow 6,500 people pledging a dollar a month, uh, you know, she'd be like, okay, you got the support back. Maybe it is time for another road trip. If you're somebody who watches all the time and is never supported and you would like to see those things happen, think about pledging a dollar. How about sign up, you fucking bum? If not, I don't have any promises right now. All right, fine. Fine, here. Here you go. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Here. I was accused of, you know, instigating um, division in the community, and I said, there is no community. You have a bunch of, you know, fake Jew, pay, uh, fake, Jew fake followers and some sellout niggers. Mo oh! or all of which apparently have dread. Are you still planning on coming down down to the for the Kobe thing, or? Again, uh, nothing's changed over here to help me win the argument with Sweet Lady, and, and now the one thing that's different is she's getting uh, trolled herself. Yeah, I would maybe say just apologize to her, tell her it's your fault, and maybe that. She well, she already, she already knows. She goes, she calls yeah. me Hubbard with the big mouth. <laughs> Those of you guys out there who do have an extra dollar in your pocket who could actually support the Patreon. Yeah, I just seen a dollar. Give me a dollar. For how long, man? How long do you need a dollar for? Maybe help change the world by supporting the one person in the world. And I don't think that's an arrogant statement to, to say either. The one person in the world right here, yours truly, who's been doing this for a decade on a level never before seen. Ego! Maybe get behind this person in the giving season. No. No, I don't think I will. And like I said, we need major funding so that we can, like I said when we were in New York City, I said what we need here is we need like Gematria Effect News as one of these buildings in Times Square belting out the truth every day in Times Square. But you look at what rent costs for, for a place in Times Square, I mean, the rent's like $100,000 a month. Who can afford that? That's $1.2 million a year in rent. We came for the rent, the rent, the rent. We can afford that. If everyone's pledging a dollar a month, there should be well over a million Americans who see how fucked up the system is and want to end it and change it. And, and again, not just in Times Square. We should have a, we should have an office like that in Washington, D.C. We should have one like that in every major city. There should be Gematria Effect News team members and employees in every office. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard it all before. Th then the morons come, why don't you just gamble every day and pay for it all yourself? It's yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. It's like, what kind of moronic response is that? So I should spend all my time decoding sports and, and not on um, what's going on in the world and, and then make all the money myself and then put out all the information myself? What kind of loser question is that? Why do so many losers come here and ask that question? Because there's so many losers. Like yourself. You want me to do everything? That's something a loser would want. Somebody to do every last thing for him. He wants everyone else to fund his lifestyle while he sits at home and does absolutely nothing of substance to change the world. A long list of broken promises from him regarding what the funding would be used for, yet he wants you to hand over even more money to him. In reality, he's the loser. Shout out to Itachi. Even though, uh, I gotta be honest, Itachi hangs around because he's a smart guy. Is he though? And he does good work in sports. But Itachi, like seriously, the songs you play on your live streams, why are you playing that music? Like, just that stuff alone makes me think you're a shill. I gotta be honest. Why are you playing that trash shit music from this Zionist cabal and stop ripping on people for going to the sports games when you go to them too? Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. So I do appreciate the donation, but you're going to be mad suspect to me as long as you continue to be the walking hypocrite that you are. <laughs> Hitachi is very good with the sports. He, he's excelled there. Bullshit. And then that's everything he does. He says, people come to this community and all they care about sports. It's like, all you ever talk about is sports.
All, that's why, it, and again, you do have, you did admit that you have some connections to some high people in, in Washington, D.C., which is also interesting. Uh, even though that is who Itachi is, he still brings something very relevant to the community. And, like what? And he's done some amazing things in sports decoding. Uh, really, name some. So I'll continue to support him for that reason. But all the other stuff, in my opinion, man, it needs to stop. It's really hard for me to do everything that I feel like I need to be doing for this work right now, which to me is getting out and pounding pavement and going to cities on anniversaries. Right now, I feel like it's hard for me to get out there and do that because I got sweet lady who's freak. And again, the, the other unfortunate thing that happened recently is that somehow the, tr well, sweet lady calls me Mr. Big Mouth. She, <laughs> she says I shouldn't have shared when we moved and all the stuff that I did because allowed him to track down where we were. The trolls did figure out where Sweet Lady works. Now she feels even less safe. Now she's made the point that if you go somewhere and I'm home alone, how do you know they're not going to come harass me or at my workplace? Uh, again, you're just making excuses. And I, I don't know for sure that's not going to happen, but I don't think that's going to happen. Again, if you're out there and you're sitting there with your hands in your pocket and you just, you've never helped out with anything and you've watched like me do countless things and be out there all day in the freezing ass cold on March 13, 2020, educating about Event 201 from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, giving away thousands of dollars of my own wealth to get a crowd of people out there. You want a cookie? I mean, seriously. Think about it. He's, he's going back in time. 2015, I did this. 2016, I did that. Support's got to get way up by February. Sign up for Patreon, moron, and shut the fuck up. Otherwise, I'm going to stay in, in the very... Because the only way I'm going to persuade Sweet Lady is if she sees that, like, support got back up to where it at least used to be. If it got even higher, which it should be, should have just kept going up. I want what I am entitled to. You're entitled to shit. Then she'd be like, okay, I, I see the worth of what you're doing. You got my, you got my blessing. I, right now I don't have her blessing. Who gives a shit? And you're, and you're making videos with these bullshit calculations about how much money you would, you, look how much money you would have lost if you went with Zach's picks last week. time I ever did a price hike but to me it, it, you know even if it's still a bargain rate I mean if you look into how much work I put in each month and how much decoding it is I mean you're getting a killer deal at both prices let's give it another shot <laughs> It is the first game of week 13, and as we know, Dallas is a big 13 city. I think the Cowboys are going to win this game. You know, Smith, if he loses tonight, he gets his 35th regular season loss. And Pete Carroll, if he loses, will get his 118th regular season loss. Dallas, Texas is 118. He gets his 87th regular season loss to the Seahawks. Cowboys is 87. McCarthy can also get his 40th all-time win with Dallas. TNF is 40 in the most simple cipher. Again, when I weigh the scales and write it out, I mean, this looks better for the favored Cowboys. <laughs> Saints and Lions. Carr, though, can get the true 69 in the most simple cipher where Lions is 69. If he wins, he'd get his 69th win. Dennis Allen, the coach, would stay on 44 losses. Detroit's 44, and he could get his 13th win with New Orleans. It's also 13-date numerology in addition to Week 13, plus the 13 games going and if the Lions did not win, they would stay on 19 wins versus the NFC South. We know Saints do like a 19 and won again last week. And one thing that did seem interesting is that the Saints win. They're 219 and 219 at home all time. They used to be just like a, a horrendous losing franchise. So, again, I mean, they have an all-time losing record at home right now. But they could even do it at 219, and that's a Roman Catholic number. Of course, it's the Saints. Can't get any more Roman Catholic. But the Saints do have a narrative to win through Carr getting to 69th. They can also get to 6-6. Six and six. I'd say I'd say Carr seemingly has the better narrative to win, better than Goff's. And in the coaches, it does also look better for De Dennis Allen with the Saints. So you got a, a coach and QB argument for the Saints. Um, you got a franchise record that could make sense for the Saints. Saints with the points might not be a bad decision. You do get a lot more value if you take a money line, but... 
Points, the points could be the winning call. Gives you two ways to win instead of one. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. Falcons and Jets. The Falcons' next all-time road loss versus the AFC is 68. So I thought, hmm, good team to get it against. The Jets, who are about the most 68 team there is. And there's the 337th day of the year, the 68th prime. Yeah, Jets are another team you can uh, take with the points as well. Three-point dog at home. Could be another close game. Yeah, Jet, Jets are a team that have some value, but again, also might be a happier camper with the points in case it's another nail biter. I mean, I've been absolutely correct about everything I came with. And for every troll who tried to take a clip of that and then show things I've been wrong about, you're a moron. I've been right about everything. Okay, Cardinals and Steelers. I think the Steelers are gonna win and get to eight and four. Because, again, you just have the death of another Rooney at age 84. As we know, Jesuit equals 84. They're a Jesuit family. Sunday equals 84. And, of course, Arizona equals 84. If Tomlin wins, he's going to get his 179th win, which is the 41st prime, the big Super Bowl number. He won his first Super Bowl over the Cardinals. But, yeah, Mike Tomlin be a fitting team to get the 179th win against. If the Cardinals lose, they get their 113th loss versus the AFC. Steelers equals 113. Cardinals can stay on 33 all-time road wins versus the AFC. The Steelers established in 33. Again, I, th I think the 84 prevails one more time for the Steelers. I've been predicting the future for over nine years straight accurately. I get annoyed and people are like, hey, your predictions are nowhere near Nostradamus. You know what, you guys? This is not a false statement. I could wipe my ass with the name Nostradamus. Literally. Literally. Okay, Broncos and Texans. Uh, whoever wins is going to get to 7-5, and five, but only one of those QBs was the 75th pick of the draft, and that was Russell Wilson. And notice if he does win, he is 3-2 and two away, where both Denver and Broncos are 32, but so is Houston. Houston's also 32. Broncos are another team you can take with the points. They're a 3.5-point dog. you got a field goal game in the Texans' favor. You win with the Broncos' cover. Things that stand out for the upset. Russell Wilson get his 51st road win. Houston Texans 51, hosted Super Bowl 51. He'd stay on 42 road losses. Houston Texas 181, the 42nd prime. So, uh, again, reason to think maybe Broncos with the points. Russell Wilson has the nice 51, which really stand out. I'm right about everything. Panthers at Bucks. Um, Black Panthers 111. We've seen some rituals with Black Panther and 111 over the years. So if the Panthers lose, just on the surface, they are 1 and 11. Bucks have become 3 and 3. Tampa Bay's got that 137 connection, the 33rd prime. Todd Bowles can get his 13th win with Tampa. Again, week 13, 13 date numerology as well. With Carolina's also 37 in the most pair, and Mayfield can get his 37th win. And historically, the winning narratives are with the QBs. And again, if the Panthers lose, they are 1 in 10, like Black Panthers 110. All right, Browns and Rams. But yeah, Rams can pick up the 13th regular season win versus the Browns, or they can stay on 13 all time wins. So the 13 can play either way there, really. If the Rams won, they'd get their fourth straight win in the series on four date numerology. Uh, Flacco can stay on 99 wins, and Stafford can get his 99th win. When you spell out 13 as a word, it equals 99. Browns' next loss versus the NFC is 109. Again, that Los Angeles number, and the Browns can stay on 83 wins. Cleveland Browns and Los Angeles Rams, both 83. That does what, that's what stands out the most to me. Biggest concern in that game would again be Flacco staying on those numbers that are also historically good in Rams games. It's just they're not getting picked up, and usually the pickup is the better narrative. Pickup goes in the Rams' favor. And then he's always doing his false math for how much money you would have lost, which is total BS. Congrats to the winners. Yeah, we, we, we hit the bookie nice. I turned on the TV just to see what was going on. And then I was happy to see that we won all the afternoon games. So we turned our, our day around. So now we're back in positive territory for the day. But 
it still wasn't the greatest day, but we did have a beautiful Thursday night again. Anyway, for all the haters out there, we're back on the plus side. Liar. Liar. Deceiver. Liar. Mayfield can get his 38th win and 15th road win, but Falcons has the Gematria 38. The, the more important number there is the 15. We call it land of the 15 city uh, again. So Mayfield does have the potential 38th win and 15th road win. Todd Bulls can also get his 40th win, where that number also has a history with Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons 40 in the most pure, like Atlanta alone is 15 in the most pure. Ritter can fall to 6-2 at home. Buccaneers and Tampa Bay Buccaneers 62. Falcons can also pick up 14th home loss versus the Bucks in NFL Week 14. So that's what I see going for Tampa, who is a slight underdog on the road. So Tampa, you could always take with the points. They're a two-and-a-half point dog. Now, the Lions and the Bears, Goff, his next win is 64. Soldier Field does equal 64 in the most peer. Fields, he could fall to 3 and 14 at home, get his 14th loss in week 14. Dan Campbell could pick up the 27th win. That is a number with the Bears. It's not their best number. If the Lions win, they get to 6 and 1 away. Detroit Lions is 61 in the most peer. If the Bears lose they fall to two and four at home lions is 24 in the most pure if the lions win they'd face the broncos 10 and 3 broncos 103 but yeah just the surface level records the six and one away the two and four at home that all makes some sense that's called a loser hubbard claims that his success rate is higher than anyone else's yeah it is facts the Colts and Bengals game, let's see, Zach Taylor, if, if, if the Bengals coach lost, he'd get his 34th, or excuse me, he'd get his 43rd regular season loss. Again, 43 is the 14th prime number. It's week 14. The Bengals can also pick up their 201st home loss as a franchise. As we know, the only 201 city in America is Indianapolis. So I think just like how they're a slight favorite, I think they got a slightly better narrative. You got the 43rd loss for Taylor, the 2 all one Minshew with the 14th win in week 14. Another wrong prediction. People want to focus on the things where I've been wrong, you know? Why? Okay, the Jaguars and the Browns game. So Lawrence can pick up his 28th loss. Browns is 28 in the most pure. The Jags can fall to 5-1 and one away. We know Cleveland does have a thing with 51. If the Jags lose, they can stay on 83 all-time road wins. Cleveland Browns is 83. Also, both teams would become 8-5 and five with a Cleveland win. The name of the stadium, Cleveland Browns Stadium's 85 in the most pure. So is National Football League. So I, I think the scales weigh more heavily for the Browns to win this game. Okay, the Panthers and the Saints. But Bryce Young can become 1-11 tomorrow. Black Panther equals 111. We've seen that ritual before with this team. He gives 11th loss on 11 date numerology. Carr can get his 38th home win. As we know, Panthers 38. The Saints can pick up their 37th home win versus the NFC South. Carolina's 37. I think it looks a little bit better for the Saints tomorrow. Carr the Texans and the Jets. All right, so if Stroud wins, he'd get to 3-3 three and three away. New York's 33. The Texans would stay on 111 road losses as a franchise. New York, 111. Zach Wilson would stay on 11 wins and pick up his 11th home loss on 11-date numerology. The Jets can also pick up their 20th regular season loss versus the AFC South. Texans is 20 in the most pure. And their coach can get his 32nd, home, 32nd loss. Houston does have the connection to 32. So to me, it looks better for the Texans. Do you know how much money I pulled out of the casino's pockets? I guarantee you it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars. The Rams and the Ravens. Stafford, if he does not win this game, will stay on 95 regular season wins. As we know, Baltimore's 95. Harbaugh could get his 157th regular season win, the 37th prime, where Los Angeles is 37. If the Rams lose, they'll get their 105th all-time loss versus the AFC. 105 is the 14th triangular number. Rams can also pick up the 58th road loss versus the AFC, where Baltimore's 58. 
And if the Ravens do win tomorrow, they're going to get the five and two at home. Also, if the Ravens win tomorrow, they'll become four and one at home in the series versus the Rams, where Baltimore's 41 and LA's 41. Again, I see more things here for the favored Ravens. Tomorrow, Mahomes could get his 84th win 84 days after his birthday as his team comes in 8-4. And, four. and uh, if he did that, he'd get his 36th home win in the regular season where Buffalo and Bills is 36. Allen could also get his 31st regular season loss where Chiefs is 31. Andy Reid can also get his 126th regular season win with the Chiefs. Buffalo's got the 126 connection as well. So looking at the quarterbacks, looks better for the Chiefs. Looking at the coach narratives, looks better for the Chiefs. I, I, I'm not a greedy person. I don't say, here, to get my sports picks, you got to pay $500 a month, even though they're worth that. You know, they're worth that. Eagles at the Cowboys. Hurts can stay on 13 losses, Dallas and 13. And he can improve to 13 and 5 in prime time. So he can get his 13th prime time win over Dallas. And becoming 13 and 5, remember, Philly has a lot of 135 things, including the Eagles' motto, Fly, Eagles, Fly. McCarthy can stay on 39 wins with Dallas and pick up his 101st regular season loss. SNF is 39, Philadelphia is 101. And if Eagles prevail, Cowboys become 6 and 1 at home, and Eagles become 6 and 1 away, Philadelphia 61. The Eagles can also stay on 102 all-time road losses in the division. Cowboys 102. So I, I, I think that's I think that's the heftier narrative in, in favor of the Eagles. Dallas is the favorite in this game, three and a half. So you could always take the Eagles with the points if you wanted to. I think this looks better for the Eagles. Plus they got the value. And again, you want to play it safe, you can always take them with the points. You're not me. You're not the person who broke the code. You're not the person who's helped people win for 10 years. I'm sure there's somebody in a casino right now with my picture throwing darts at it. Fuck that guy, cost us a lot of money again this weekend. Packers and Giants. The Giants' next win in the series is 25. Again, it's Danny DeVito, the actor's 25th day of his age. And the, and the starting quarterback right now for the Giants supposedly lives at home with his parents and his name DeVito. Brian DeBull, he has a chance to pick up his 14th regular season win and his 15th all-time win. Again, week 14, MNF is 15. He'd stay on 15 regular season losses as well. Packers' next road loss is 25 on a Monday. No better team to get it against than the Giants. If the Giants did get to 5-8 five and five, or excuse me, five and eight tonight, MetLife Stadium is 58 in the most pier. If the Giants... One tonight, they'd get to three and three at home. Again, New York and MNF 33. And the Packers do have a chance to fall to two and five away, like Giants is 25. So Giants are another team you can take with the points. And then he's always doing his false math for how much money you would have lost, which is total BS. Zach the Fraud, another shit day of picks. You've been going with my picks this season. You've been doing just fine. You did straight bets on every game I like this year. You've hit some big upsets and you've won a lot. Anybody who says otherwise is a fucking loser and fraud. Shut it down. Help people make millions of dollars over years. Those are facts. Talk about a fraud. Uh, again, you guys, if you do want to see me out at the Super Bowl this year, down in LA for the Kobe Bryant statue unveiling, but I'm going to need, for all of you guys who stop supporting, uh, again, I'm going to have to find more people to pledge a dollar. Cause... Uh, fuck these losers begging for a dollar nonstop. Sweet lady, it's just, it's not going to fly with her right now, you guys. She's going to say, like, well, but why? Why, Zach? Why? Look at how far down your support is since you started traveling all over the place.
You know, it just makes me anxious. Oh, because a sweet lady. Oh, because a sweet lady. Oh, because a sweet lady. Oh, because I blame it on sweet lady. It must be sweet motherfucking Zach. Again, way more people should be supporting this work, you guys. We have, we have, we have the most amazing information in the truth community that there ever was. Ego. Why do we care as a nation about a Boston suburb who's up in arms over some guy? Again, I like literally every police officer deserves the same fate. Even though these people are evil and sick, I don't really want to wish death on anybody. I don't think that's good karma. And I, I, I mean that with all the offense you can take out of it. Again, you all deserve to perish. Wouldn't wish death on anybody, but... So, anyone up in arms over the death of a police officer is a loser by default. A again, even though, for example, like, my, my trolls and haters are loving my NFL season because it's the most mediocre it's ever been. We are coming up on one of the best lines I've ever heard in, in all of the world of comedy. Here we go. But at the same time, there's been a number of days where a number of people in the community, based on the knowledge in the picks, multiplied like a $10 bill into $400 or a 20 into 800 <laughs> um, there hasn't been as many of those days this season as there has been in seasons past because things are becoming more challenging but you learn the knowledge we're putting out you should not be a loser in the world of sports gambling and anyone who tells you that, that Zach's putting out losing information that person's a troll donations 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 like uh you know what's sad is like mr scott he used to always be here always giving super chats now he's always over and call me kin folks channel giving all his super chats is that jealousy i detect and it's like damn man you're giving your super chats now to a guy who does whack-ass decodes imagine all that money had come to me me that's all folks Till next time, true seeker.